Today, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We usually talk about casting, making different types of casts, but today we're going to focus on fishing a little bit more. And with this fishing, what we're going to focus on is hook setting and fish fighting. When we're setting the hook with a fly rod, there's a couple different ways to do it. The first is, let's talk about trout for a second, it's just a, a trout set or a simple set where once we make that cast, when that fish grabs that fly, we just want to make a quick lift with that rod. I see a lot of folks take that rod, they put it in the, you know, the butt of the rod right in their stomach, and they reef back as hard as they can. Well, if you do that, you're going to do one of three things. The first is you're going to probably pull the fly away from the fish, scaring it half to death. If you do hook the fish, you could break it off on that hook set because it's so aggressive. And third, if it's a small fish, you might send it into the next county from here. So just remember folks, a nice, easy, quick lift will help set that hook when we're using those trout flies. Now, if we're in a saltwater situation, a lot of these fish have a tough bony mouth and we're using larger hooks. They won't sink into that fish's mouth very easily if we make this quick lift. I've been in a lot of tarpon fishing situations where I've made the mistake of trout setting on a tarpon and if you do that, that hook just pulls right out. It doesn't even uh, get a good purchase. So in that scenario, we're gonna use a strip set. When we're fishing for these larger fish or these saltwater fish or even bass or pike, we're stripping a fly in usually. By stripping this fly in, we're imparting motion on that fly. It's now darting through the water. When we make that set, we just continue with a quick strip. So if I want to set that hook, I'll just make a quick strip set. Then I'll let that fish start to run. And that's a strip set. And then this is a simple trout set or a quick lift with that rod. Now let's talk about fish fighting. When we're fighting a fish, we want to fight that fish with the butt of the rod, okay? Not necessarily, not necessarily the tip. If we're fighting a fish with the tip of the rod, we're not putting very much pressure on that fish. We also want to fight that fish uh, from side to side. We want to come low. Uh, Stu App called it the down and dirty. We want to keep that rod to the side, here applying side pressure on that fish to tire it out much more quickly. If we have that rod up, that fish can run and go wherever it wants and we're not putting much pressure on that fish. So when we make this cast and we set that hook and we're starting to fight that fish, if we have a small fish, it might take a little bit of line. So I just set that hook. Now I have a fish on. If it's a small fish, it might take some line, but then it's gonna stop and then I can pull some line back in. It might take a little bit more and then I can pull some back in. It's a game of give and take. This reel, if I pull line, notice how it spins backwards? We have to let that reel spin. If I hold on for dear life, you're gonna break that fish off. If it's a larger fish and we just set that hook and now that fish is on, that fish is gonna pull that line and then that reel's gonna start to spin. Let that reel spin. Once it stops, then we can start to reel in that fish. Now, when we're fighting this fish, you always want to pull or imagine you're pulling on its tail. So if that fish is going over here to my left, I'm going to pull to my right. If that fish goes over here to my right, I'm going to pull to the left. And we want that good side pressure. If that fish is going away from us, remember we don't necessarily want that rod way up here in the air. This is going to tire us out a lot quicker. And I have a really neat trick here I'm going to show you so you can see how much pressure you can get with side pressure. So to show you how to fight a fish, I got my good friend Phil Monahan here and he's going to pretend to be my fish. When we're fighting that fish, remember I said we don't want that rod way up here in the air like this. This is putting a lot of strain on my hand. I'm working really, really hard. You can see the tip of the rod is bent. Phil has a tool called a boga grip that actually has a scale on it. Phil, what does that boga grip say? Less than a pound. Less than a pound of pressure. That's not a lot of pressure right there on that fish. If this was a large fish, say a big carp or a bass, that fish is going to run around all day. What I want to do is get that rod down low and now apply that bend in the butt of the rod. This is now gonna be able to tire that fish out much quicker. Phil, what does that scale see, say now? About three and a half. About three and a half pounds. Let's see if we can make it a little bit more. Five, six. Six pounds of pressure. Now, because I have the bend in the butt of the rod, and we're gonna show you that grip so you know we're not lying. So with that rod tip up high, I'm putting a good bend in this rod, my hand's starting to get tired, and notice there's not really that much pressure put on that boga grip. About two pounds of pressure. That's not much. But if I get this rod now down here to the side, or a little bit lower and bend with the butt of the rod, now look at the difference. You can put a lot more pressure fighting that fish with the butt of the rod rather than the tip of the rod.